In this paper, we present a method to reconstruct human pose and shape from body-worn sensors. Pose and shape estimation from RGB images alone is often difficult because of partial visibility or severe self-occlusions. In our method, we use wireless electromagnetic sensors that have no line-of-sight constraints to reconstruct human pose and shape in 3D. To this end, we leverage electromagnetic field-based sensing technology. In EM sensing, a source generates a magnetic field in which a sensor can determine its position and orientation. We place this source onto a participant's lower back and use between 6 and 12 customised wireless EM sensors for full body motion capturing. More specifically, we solve the following task. Given a set of positional and orientational measurements provided by our EM sensors, here summarised as X, we want to provide a function that estimates the corresponding SMPL pose and shape parameters, here summarised as omega. This is challenging for several reasons. First, if we're only using six input measurements, the pose is under constraint. Second, although EM sensing can be highly accurate, its accuracy depends on the distance between the sensor and the source, making it pose dependent. And third, the estimation function should be robust to perturbations in the skin-to-sensor offsets, not only because of this pose-dependent accuracy, but also because physical sensors might slip against the skin. These challenges have led us to adopt a learned iterative fitting approach, which is explained in more detail in the following. To estimate SMPL pose and shape from our EM measurements, X, we minimise a reconstruction loss, which measures how well the inputs X can be reconstructed, from the current estimate of SMPL pose and shape, omega. To do so, we extend a recently proposed framework, learned gradient descent. In LGD, we use a per-parameter update rule to obtain the next estimate of omega, whereby the gradient update step is learned by a neural network. This allows for fast convergence in typically four iterations. We obtain the initial estimate of omega by feeding our inputs to an RNN. To train LGD, we contribute a training scheme that leverages a mass to synthesize virtual EM measurements. At test time, this approach generalizes to real data without the need for further domain adaptation. To test our method on real data, we captured a dataset consisting of pairs of electromagnetic measurements and SMPL body parameters. To capture reference SMPL poses, for example the one shown here, we use RGB and depth data from multiple Azure Connects in a multi-stage optimization procedure. We use OptiTrack in our calibration procedure to transform all sensing devices into the same coordinate system. In this way, we record about 37 minutes of data from three female and two male participants. The data is available for download and includes motion types such as arm swings, jumping jacks, walking and more. In the following, we present results from our best model when using six sensors as input. As a reminder, the only input in our method are the positions and orientations as measured by the EEM sensors. Our method then produces SMPL pose and shape, which we back project into external views to produce the video shown here. We show good results for a wide variety of dynamic arm motions. Here the arms are fully stretched, which is typically difficult to achieve with six sensors only. Similarly, we can reconstruct lower body movements in challenging sequences such as lunges or crouching, which exhibit a lot of self-occlusions. As our system has no line of sight constraints, we can also faithfully reconstruct crossing arms. Finally, we also show good performance in more dynamic scenes, such as jumping jacks or when the participant is walking around.
Thanks for watching.